Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Parker and today I'm going to show you how to record electric guitar professionally at home in three easy steps, plus a bonus tip coming up after this. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Daniel Parker and I'm a singer-songwriter and I create content based around my songs and everything music and audio, including at home recording, producing, mixing, mastering, etc. So, so please subscribe, hit the notification icon button, leave a comment, thanks a lot. So step number one is to make sure that your electric guitar is set up professionally by a guitar technician. This is super important. Don't just settle for factory specs. When you communicate with your guitar technician, let them know how you want your guitar set up so that you, so that you get the best possible sound when you record your electric guitar parts. Getting your guitar set up and getting new strings on your guitar is actually an industry standard practice when it comes to how electric guitars are recorded in big studios and how they have always been recorded in big studios. So you kind of want to replicate that in your at-home studio. So get your guitar set up, get new strings on it. Now can you record with really old strings? Yes, you can. However, I highly recommend that you put new strings on your guitar, electric guitar, before you start recording. So once we have our guitar set up, we got new strings, we also want to make sure that our guitar cable is new or relatively new. It's not making buzzing sounds or anything like that. So that is step number one. Do not overlook it. Do not just settle for factory specs. Take your electric guitar to a guitar technician. Get it set up so that you can sound your best between the speakers. All right, let's go to step number two. All right guys, step number two. Step number two is tuning up. We wanna make sure that we tune up before we hit the record button in our digital audio workstation. It is super important that we get in tune. Now, how often should you tune up when you're recording your electric guitar parts? Some people say that you should record after every take. I think that's a little bit crazy, but if you wanna do that, then go on ahead. But for me personally, I would say after about maybe 15, 20 takes, I might, tune up, I might tune up again. Now, I often go by instinct, so that's not always the case. How often you tune up is really going to be based upon you as a player, how you're playing, the environment, etc. But the most important takeaway in this point is to make sure that you are tuned up before you start recording. And when you are recording, to tune up regularly. Super important that you get locked in with your tuning so that when you combine all of the other instruments in the mix, everything just comes together. All right, guys, step number three. Now, step number three is probably the most important step in this whole process, and that is setting the correct gain level on your audio interface. Now, it is super important that we do not clip at the audio interface. So what is clipping? Clipping means going above digital zero. And when you do that, you introduce something called digital distortion. And digital distortion sounds, number one, it sounds awful, but number two is there's no remedy for it. Okay, maybe there is with these new AI programs, I don't know, but best practice is to not clip when you're recording your electric guitar through a consumer-grade audio interface. Now, if you have a super expensive preamp, maybe you can get away with something like that. But this is for beginners, at-home musicians, so, I highly recommend that you do not clip at your audio interface when you're recording electric guitar. Just don't do it, period. Now, some of you are asking, and I'm going to answer it, well, at what level should we record a guitar at? Well, it all depends on, on how you're playing, how you play, what you're going to play. But I would say in general, when you're playing the hardest you possibly can, which we're going to use right now to set a good gain level on our interface, is that you do not want to be going above negative 6 dB on your digital meters. Now, we're gonna do that together. We're gonna to plug in our cable into our audio interface. we make sure we're tuned up beforehand, of course. Now, we're gonna play the hardest that we can imagine ourselves playing in a song, or more specifically, in the song that we're about to record, or the piece of music that we're about to record. So let's just pick a random chord and play it the hardest that we can possibly can. So my signal got up to about negative 5 dB, a little bit higher, but usually I do not play that loud. 
but I did not clip, okay? And I had some headroom here. Now, th now once we have a, we set our level with playing very aggressively or the hardest that we can possibly think of, our low dynamic level playing, for example, is already taken care of, so we don't have to really think about that. Now, I don't want you guys to overthink this step. Now, if you record too low, you can use something called a gain plugin, which brings up the level of your signal to an appropriate level. Now, and if you record too hot, too loud, you can use that same gain plugin, gain plugin to bring the level down to the sweet spot, okay, where it sounds the best. That's where the sweet spot is. Now, that's something we're always striving for, is getting things in the sweet spot where things sound and feel good. That's step number three, is setting the appropriate gain level on your audio interface. Take your time, do it right, get a, get a great, perfect gain level going into your audio interface. Check the meters in both your DAW and on your interface, and you'll be good to go. All right, I'll see you in the bonus tip. Hey everyone, welcome to the bonus tip. And the bonus tip is, is to use a preamp plugin before you hit your amplifier in your digital audio workstation. What is a preamp? What a preamp does is it boosts the level of a signal. And most importantly, more importantly, it gives the tone, color, character, confidence between the speakers. It's giving your sound a costume before it hits the stage, okay? Before you hit your amplifier, you're giving your sound that first initial coloring, which is probably the most uh, part of the whole process of getting a great guitar tone. And actually, getting your guitar set up, getting new strings on it and tuning up and using a preamp are industry standard practice. They have been. Now, how much preamp gain should you add? Well, I usually just add a dB or two, it depends. And if there's an EQ module on the preamp that I'm using, then I'll use that as well. I wanna make sure that I get the best sound that I possibly can before I hit my amplifier. I want my, my goal is to make my DI signal and my, my, my added signal with my preamp to sound like a record. That's my goal. It's not going to sound like a record, okay? But that's what my goal is, is to take my time as I go through the various stages of audio processing when it comes to getting the sound that I want with my electric guitar. What preamp plugin should you use? Well, there's a lot of different plugins that you can get. I highly recommend you just go on Google and check some out. But if you need a, a really affordable one, there's one by Need. It's uh, the Need uh, Trilogy Suite. Uh, so you can check that out as well. There's a, there's a link in the description box down below. But there's a lot of them from different other, other manufacturers as well that are very affordable. So yeah, get a preamp. Don't settle for stock plugins. Um, well, most of the time. But if you can afford it, I highly recommend that you get yourself a really good preamp plug-in for your electric guitar before you hit your amplifier. All right, let's go into the conclusion. Hey everyone, it's time to bring in this video in for a landing. I hope you all had a great time. I had a really, a real great time recording this video. And if you have any questions or comments or anything, make sure that you leave them down below. Please leave a comment and I'll get back to you when I can. I had a really great time and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future with my new content. Okay everyone, Daniel Parker, see you in the song.